Hi, this is Michael Hendershot, K4MKH, Kilo 4, Mike Kilo Hotel. I'm going to give you a basic training on how to do a configuration of a TNC. Some of the TNCs that we use are a TimeWave PK96, a Kentronics KPC3+, a TimeWave PK12, TimeWave PK232. In the event that you have to clear a TNC that it gets hung up, please look at your instruction manual. A lot of them will have reset buttons on the back if they're newer. The older ones, sometimes you had to pop the cover, remove the little jumper, and remove the battery. It could be a combination of both. So it's a very straightforward process. You just have to clear them in case it gets locked up. And it can happen when you're playing with different software. The first thing we need to do is download a piece of software that will allow us to communicate with it. I'm going to download a terminal emulation program. The program that I use like for this type of work is called Putty. Putty is very powerful but we're only going to use it for the serial, pur serial configuration purposes. On the Putty website I go to the download key and you'll see this called putty.exe. Go ahead and download that to your machine and run it. Once you launch the software for Putty the very first time, the first thing you need to know is what is the communications port on your computer that your TNC is connected to. So in the serial line, I would enter COM3. In the speed, leave it at 9600 because 99% of the time it won't be anything different. Under Window, by appearance, you can change your font size, font color, so if you don't like the way it looks, it's too small you can go in here click on the change button and change your font size say okay it'll make the change and I recommend you use clear type try that because on the newer monitors clear type looks really good so I'm gonna go back to the session settings and I already have a pre-saved one for my computer and I'm going to load it and as you can see nothing's happening to perform the auto baud detect which is the very first step you have to do after you do a main reset you do shift and the 8 key which is the shift star and as you can see it told me what my TNC was and what the version was so my TNC is now up and running the, the very basic thing I have to do is set my call sign so I type in my call and K4MKH it'll tell you that my old call sign was PK96 for the original settings and now it's K4MKH to show you that my TNC is working now, I'm going to do C for connect and then a local packet node here in Jacksonville, Florida. As you can see, I connected to the JAX node in downtown Jacksonville and you can see my TNC is working. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. Now that we have the TNC set up properly, I can power off my TNC, which I'm doing now, and I'm powering it back on. And you can see that it shows me the version again, and you can do any advanced configuration you wanted, but that's how you do a basic configuration of a TNC. Thank you very much.